Ladies and gentlemen and everything in between, it's Matt Paradoxition. About nine months ago, I made a video about Arc Browser. Now, at the time, this was my favorite browser and I was actually a part of the beta for it. But today, my feelings aren't quite the same. Let's talk about it. First things first, let's talk about the fact that there's two different versions of Arc Browser and that's before you even include the mobile one. I didn't think this was gonna be a big deal at first. You know, they started out on Mac and then they transitioned to making a Windows version of the application. But it's been a while and there's some serious discrepancies between the two. At first, it's the little things. You notice, oh, the address bar is in two different locations, whether I'm on Mac or Windows. You notice the lower left button is completely different functionality depending on whether I'm on a different operating system. But then it gets a little finicky as you use the browser more because you start to notice things like, oh, I just signed into Arc on my Windows machine and it didn't sync everything correctly which honestly would all be excusable except for the fact that Arc exited beta on Windows back in August and none of these issues have been addressed at all. Not to mention if you're using Arc on Windows, features that are on the Mac version have a very lackluster appearance on their Windows counterpart, if they show up at all. For one, Arc Max is a huge selling point of the Arc browser. It has a bunch of AI features that improve your browsing experience and they were all supposed to go from Mac over to Windows as well. But as you can see, the Mac list is pretty long and almost none of them have reached the Windows version of Mac. And it really starts to feel like Arc shoots itself in the foot when you see features that have been on the Mac version for a long time that haven't even remotely begun to appear on the Windows version. The most blatant of which, in my opinion, is the functionality of that lower left hand button. When you click it on Windows, it basically has just the functionality of the archive page in that entire menu we get on Mac which in itself is sort of a list of missing features when it comes to Arc on Windows. Easels were a really cool concept. They were basically just notes that you could share with other Arc users, and I thought that was a really cool feature to have built into a browser. The visual configuration for spaces was also a really cool feature. I loved being able to see what I was changing in real time, and I also love that it worked. Despite having a lot less configuration options, the Windows version tends to glitch out a lot more often. Then of course there were boosts, which I thought were a really unique feature because it basically allowed you to do a glorified inspect element on the web page and customize it to your liking indefinitely. But that just never made it over to Windows. And now I hate to sound like I'm bashing, I really do respect the developers of Arc. What they've done is really cool and I love their browser. It's a whole new feel and it's incredibly unique. It's just moving a little too slowly, which brings me to my theory of why? Just a few short months after the full release of Arc on Windows, CEO Josh Miller of the browser company came to YouTube to make a very big announcement. So that's why we're breaking free. We are going to build a completely separate product, a new product for our friends and family members that just Arc wasn't there for. A new product from a small startup company based out of New York, where I definitely don't think the bills could be even remotely expensive, right? Jokes aside, I don't actually have any problem with them making a new product. Obviously, if they have a cool idea, they should go for it. But I do worry in the sense that they are a small startup company living in an expensive part of the country, going out on a limb to try something new, and it seems like sort of leaving Arc in the dust. Now, of course, in this same video, the CEO does say that Arc is going to maintain support. It's going to be developed and updated as it has been, as if nothing has changed. I question that for two reasons. Reason number one. So that's why we're breaking free. So that's why we're breaking free. That is not reassuring at all. That makes it sound like Arc is just a shackles holding you down. And for me, that's just like, whoa. I feel like that was maybe just a poor choice of words, but eh? Reason number two updates. I daily drove the Arc browser for a few months, starting even before I made the video about it, and it's pretty noticeable how much updates have slowed down. Now don't get me wrong, it's completely normal for updates to slow down on anything. Generally the idea is that you're getting rid of most of the bugs and things get more stable over time. But when I go from getting at least one update a week to getting lucky if I see one every two or three, I start to question things, especially if those updates contain very little content. And we've already talked about that. There is a lot to be desired on the Windows side of updates right now. Honestly, I don't really know what they're adding to the Mac version. All in all, it did make me wonder whether or not the browser company just put a little too much on their plate. I actually just recently switched off of Arc Browser because as much as I loved it, there's just a couple of bugs that, while they're not huge, should definitely have been fixed by this point. So yeah, I mean, I would still recommend Arc Browser just for the experience at the very least. Maybe they're gonna fix their issues soon and I'm just behind the eight ball. We've been waiting on Arc 2.0 for a while now, so 
If that should drop, I'll definitely have to revisit, but until then, I'm going to stick with Brave. It also has a great ad blocker and doesn't track you as much as something like Google Chrome, so beautiful. That all being said, if you reached the end of the video, thanks for sticking around. If you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like, maybe even subscribe. I've got a Discord you can join if you want to chat with me, ask questions, or even suggest video ideas. But otherwise, I will be uploading again one more time this week, and I'll see you then.